Hello ladies and gentlemen welcome back to exotic astrology and I get many requests for example charts with a pump which has permanent settlement in US or UK Australia or anywhere in Europe primarily these countries so this is the example of a person of a male who has uh, settled uh, in US and <coughs> now we will discuss some of the combinations and placements which are uh, you know, required for settling um, in developed countries. We will see numerology and astrology combined. Okay. <coughs> so first of all, if you go to his date of birth, it's 12th of July 1981. 8.27 p.m. Patna, Bihar is the place in India. <coughs> so, this is the Lagna chart of the person and we have the Navamsha chart. So, now here, if you go to his date of birth alone, you see the number 7 is here, repeating. Okay, so Number 7 is related to developed countries. So the more you have seven, the better and easier it is for you to get visa of a developed country and eventual PR or citizenship. Okay. <coughs> uh, so therefore, having seven uh, multiplies the possibility. Okay. Then, if you see in his time of birth, then again we see seven is there. Okay. Twenty twenty seven. So this also. Uh, further adds to the possibility of settling abroad okay now having said that it doesn't mean anybody who has seven uh, will settle abroad or you have to settle abroad or in developed countries it doesn't mean that it means that if your um, astrologically your um, dasha is supporting then you can go right so for example if a person has has born has taken birth on like uh, you know 16th or july or you know 1987 it doesn't mean that he will he must go abroad if primarily his dashas indicate the second house or the fourth house then he will stay in his homeland okay now here we need to check from the horoscope also see if you go to his chart uh, look what's happening there <coughs> which are the houses of settlement settling abroad and all that. now we see you will see in charts whenever the third house the 12th house and the ninth house they are having some kind of an exchange or their lords are you know similar or um, they are sitting together or they are sitting in each other's houses then um, the possibility for a person to go abroad or settle abroad increases okay and along with that if you have seven in numerology then the possibility of going to developed countries come now if you see what's happening here you see the 12th lord and the third lord jupiter is sitting in the ninth house see lords of three nine or twelve sitting in each other's houses uh, then who is sitting there in the ninth house you see saturn is sitting saturn is the lord of the ascendant the lord of lagna and the third lord and the twelfth lord is sitting in the ninth house aspecting back the third house and the ascendant right jupiter aspects the ascendant and the third house and he also aspects the fifth house of knowledge so therefore we can get an idea that uh, this person will most likely go abroad and the person can stay abroad also okay but this is not enough you have to judge uh, what is going on uh, because just because somebody has a combination for going abroad and somebody goes abroad or to a developed country doesn't mean that the person will 
always be doing good there right it doesn't mean that now you need to check in detail what's going on right so if you check this chart from a career perspective let's analyze how do we analyze career we see the second house sixth house tenth house and eleventh house okay uh, we need to see if the lords of these houses are placed in each other's houses or if they are placed in good dignity you know, or good houses um, and we'll also go to the nakshatra so for example what's going on with the second house second lord is saturn right and he's placed in the ninth house fantastic placement he's in a friend sign great placement the what about the sixth house sixth lord mercury is in the sixth house itself excellent placement fantastic placement now what about the tenth house tenth lord venus is placed in the seventh house in rahu ketu axis this can show that the person might want to go abroad and do big things seventh house is a good house for venus now the sign is not very good so the person may have some confusion regarding what to do but in general it's in a kendra so it is good for business partnerships the seventh house with foreigners of course having rahu ketu there now what about the 11th house who is placed in the 11th house moon is placed there you know kendra lord the seventh lord is in the 11th so this is again good for business partnerships uh, and uh, who is where is the 11th lord placed mangal is in the 6th house so mars is in gemini in the 6th house so again lord of the 11th in the 6th all right so we see this phenomena is repeating and if you if you see uh, in the sixth house you see mercury is placed in own sign okay so this makes a person very shrewd and very intelligent very it can be cunning also at times uh, if rahu ketu is involved the person can deceive others also but here uh, it's not the case so now uh, then you need to go to the dashas and see what's happening right so if you go to his uh, mercury dasha so he was born in 1981 so by the time he was 2006 he uh, was of the age 25 okay so his primary growth started during this period mercury mars period all right and if you see uh, what's going on with mars mars is the 11th lord and the 4th lord in the 6th house so that shows you know something to do with education uh, and career some big event is happening 4th house 11th house now uh, but that's not enough you need to see the nakshatras so you see what's going on where is mars placed he's in gemini in mrikshira mrikshira is his own nakshatra okay so mrikshira nakshatra is ruled by mars so as per nakshatra also it is suggesting that because the 11th house is involved therefore this is a fantastic time for him now uh, the thing is mars also aspects the uh, 12th house okay but he is in the 6th house he is not in the 5th uh, house or 9th house or the 4th house but he is the fourth lord here so here in this case the fourth lord will not show homeland this fourth lord will show education okay so during uh, moon dasha this person had gone uh, abroad uh, moon dasha okay 2005 this person went abroad now if you see moon is you know the seventh lord in the 11th house now seventh house is fourth from the fourth so seventh house can also at times show that a person is going abroad not abroad necessarily it can be to some other city also it's like finding a home away from your home okay but as i said that doesn't ensure that you will do good necessarily all right and if you see moon uh, he is in anuradha nakshatra okay so anuradha is ruled by saturn who is placed in the ninth house so moon is telling that he will meet big people but it will be something related to the ninth house which is 
long distance travel or something like this and then this person uh, went during moon dasha and uh, then during mars dasha he started uh, doing you know part time job and all this so he did very good uh, during the mars dasha and then yeah gradually he started working so if you see why 2005 he went and uh, somewhere around september october he went so within 2 years he had finished his masters so mangal dasha ended when his masters was about to complete mangal dasha is there till july and uh, then rahu dasha started okay so what about rahu rahu is the co lord of aquarius as a second lord is sitting in the 7th house uh what about the nakshatra rahu is in pushya nakshatra you see and pushya is ruled by saturn again again something to do with the 9th house again something to do with the lagna again something to do with the second house because saturn is sitting in the 9th and he lords the first and the second so this is a very good time for his profession uh, i mean this was um and um, rahu is sitting in the 7th house of business partnerships now the thing is um, what about the next dasha jupiter jupiter is uh, again the 12th lord and third lord in the 9th house so this person again went back to education you know he started doing his phd now uh, during his jupiter dasha okay Uh, somewhere in 2011, uh, this person went back to PhD, and then uh, within four years, roughly, he had completed his PhD. So, as soon as his his Ketu Dasha started, uh, his PhD was almost about to be over. <coughs> now what about ketu what's going on with ketu ketu is sitting in the ascendant uh, what about his the nakshatra where ketu is sitting well ketu is sitting in uttarashada nakshatra uttarashada is the nakshatra of the sun he is the eighth lord in the sixth house now this is not a very good placement <coughs> and uh, this this is only good if the person is involved in research otherwise this is terrible this can make a person lose his job or get into depression okay but uh, ketu has the aspect of jupiter and uh, his dispositor saturn is very well placed uh but luckily this person was in research and then when his venus dasha started um he went into uh, you know getting some employment in some other company ketu venus period okay and then what happened was um he got a job in a very big company in india now i mean in the us not india uh, but it was a indian company okay which is also there in us uh, he got a very big job there so he had the flexibility to you know stay abroad and uh, be linked with india somehow and he would frequently come to india also because of uh, the company being an indian company but yeah he was uh, doing very good that time so if you see venus he is sitting in the 7th house is the 10th lord is the 5th lord so it shows very good intelligence and also most importantly he is in ashlesha nakshatra okay so ashlesha is the nakshatra ruled by mercury so what about mercury he is the ninth lord and the sixth lord in the sixth house this is fantastic for profession okay what about mercury himself mercury himself is in the sixth but he is in mrikshira again the 11th lord's nakshatra <coughs> and the lord of the 11th mars is again in the 6th house so it's like double bonanza together so currently he is running ketu mercury and he is having a very good time in his career and uh, he is he is running he is going to run his venus dasha 
for 20 years from January next year and that will consume the primary parts of his career all right so i am interested to know what do you think about this chart to what extent will this person rise in the corporate ladders or will this person have his own business own profession self employed work or brand or clothing line or books or youtube channel or will this person be a consultant what do you think i would really like to know in the comments all right thank you very much for your time and if you're new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and if you want a consultation my website is also down below in the description section god is there with you all the time just look to him and you'll find him